Thank you to Alison Mowbray for the commentary and I'm now joined by James Cracknell as we move to the start of the Princess Grace Challenge Cup between Poland and Germany and what a race this will be, James. Yeah, the, uh, the Poles are the under-23 world champions and maybe in slight mourning after their team being knocked out of Euro 2016 yesterday and this is their first race of the regatta. They got selected and the Germans, even though they raced yesterday, still can't steer straight. And this German crew also looking to go to the under-23s. As we mentioned earlier, there's quite a number of under-23 crews competing at this regatta. Given that the under-23 World Championships are so late this year, it is a great opportunity for crews to come and have some quality racing before that event. Yeah, the, the, it's uh, partly with the under-23s being late and also a number of the uh, Olympic teams away on training camp. It means there is a scope for the sort of second-tier international crews to come and have a chance of getting deep into the regatta and we saw the German crew racing yesterday they had a fairly comfortable win in their race over one of the local crews but this Polish crew I was talking to Julia Mikalska before the Olympic medalist from Poland uh, she's retired now no longer competing but she's working with these girls she lives here in London and she's uh, helping the girls out while they're here and she thinks that they should be uh, able to win this fairly comfortably. They've beaten the Germans in all of their meetings to date. So she, her tip was to go with the Poles who just have an ever so slight advantage over the Germans as they're coming down towards the enclosures. And, and the Poles actually have a much better rhythm there. If you have two people running side by side, one looks like they're sprinting, the other one looks like they're stretching out and almost jogging. And that's the, the difference between the Poles and the Germans. The Germans are obviously attacking it, they're slightly down. And the poles are just very strong in a rhythm. I know they've got bigger races over the weekend to come, so they don't want to blow themselves out now. And Polish women's sculling is in such a strong stage at the moment. The Olympic double, very much contenders for that gold medal in Rio. And then these young girls and also the women's quad um, at a senior level who have all been uh, doing so well internationally. But their rhythm is just so much more unbreakable, it looks, than the Germans. The Germans really working very hard for their speed really slogging it along. You can see the stroke woman there in the German crew. That's Michaela Stahlberg. You can see her head moving around. She's really, really working incredibly hard behind yeah, the handle. But, but as the water roughs up, uh, the one thing the Germans have got is a huge tradition in quad sculling, and, and that will have been ingrained in them from when they start, start rowing. So if it does get slightly lumpy and unpredictable out there, don't be surprised to see them mount a a comeback over the latter stages down the enclosures and, and they've got a proud tradition in their country for going quick in the quad and put it this way, there's a fair rivalry between Poland and Germany and I don't think any of them want to get the uh, lower hand on them. Yeah look these two quads they're going to be more than likely at the under 23 world championships later in the year so I suspect both will start to go for it now. There's pride on the line, there's everything on the line to race for in terms of what they're moving on to later in the year, but obviously to make it through to the Saturday tomorrow, what a, what a tough race to get on the Friday. It is a tough race, but at the same time, you don't want to go to semi-final undercooked. It would have been ideally to have a quick, good first half and then just relax over the second half, but the Germans have kept the, the poles on this, but the poles are gained a huge amount from that. It's their first run out over the course, and they've, they've looked very... Very strong and very relaxed and take that rhythm into tomorrow when they'll have to row faster. As we move up to the finish now, a great move from the poles in the last stages of that race coming past the enclosures and they will take the win in the Princess Grace Challenge Cup race. Poland over Germany. Oh, oh. Oh, 